Good morning from Riga. So I'm going to the ethnographic open air museum here in Riga. It's actually 20 minutes by car outside the city center. Let's say 12, 13 kilometers, eight, nine miles. Okay, we're a 45 minute bus ride. Maybe even shorter, I don't know. Let's go. Should be very interesting. Was it that was way faster than I thought I was expecting more visitors who knows maybe I'm the first one today <laughs> they have hundreds of old buildings a couple of cafes maybe with some medieval food or probably not but still I look forward to it I look forward to visiting and seeing these uh, yeah these really nice uh, houses. Some of them are hundreds of years old. I mean, well, technically not, but they are rebuilt in the same style as they were hundreds of years ago. From the 17th century up to 1930. Lots of warehouses and cottages. And am I going the right way? Probably not. Look at the parking lot. This one car. Could this belong to to the person at the entrance selling tickets? Could very well be. Maybe I have the whole park, the whole open air museum for myself. Let's see. It was supposed to snow, but it's again this annoying sleet, like rain snow combination between the two. I've just entered and there's already a huge warehouse with these uh, very old vehicles. It's pretty dark inside, so I don't think you can see them so well. But it's, uh, it's really beautiful. 19th century vehicles. I love it already. Can you imagine traveling using one of these? I mean, I don't mean the coffin, but... Just a couple of meters from the entrance and you already <clears throat> feel like you are in the woods. I got to visit this uh, warehouse with some uh, old vehicles very nice and very interesting and i got this uh, cute little ticket how much it costs two euro in the winter season it's four euros in the summer when it's probably more crowded and just two euro in the winter for spending a couple of hours here in the woods fresh air and seeing uh, some really nice really beautiful old stuff wow that's the greatest value ever isn't it and yes it could be that i have the whole open air museum to myself and you also get this map with numbers and uh, some explanation on the back very useful it's a lot of stuff to visit. Is this for water? I think it's for water. Yes, it is. It's an old water pump. So basically uh, one person or more push this thing or drag it in a circle and uh, that helps uh, pumping water. Yeah, makes you feel more grateful nowadays when you have tap water and probably you don't like the taste of that either. Back in the day it was uh, a bit more difficult to pump water. Okay, let's move on.
Well, unfortunately, not everything is uh, open because it's winter and uh, not so many tourists, as you can see. I don't want to knock this. I don't know what it is. But uh, it's amazing to, to see these old houses from the outside. It kind of does the job as well. And I'm pretty sure we get to enter at least a couple of them. Is this a wolfie? Or just a dog made of hay? Some more vehicles. Sleigh looking thing. A small pond. And I hear some voices. Wow, the smell in here. You cannot see much, but <laughs> the smell. It's an old barn from 18th century. And the windmill. Look at all these uh, houses between the trees. This is really like over 100. You can explore a lot. I think you can lose an entire day here. Oh, let's climb the windmill, see if we find something open. Interesting, a house like that used to accommodate uh, 15 to 20 people sleeping under the same roof. Most of the objects you see inside these houses are very well preserved. They start collecting them before the world wars, so not much has been destroyed. Well, you can see everything from the outside. You can read what was uh, what and which building was used for what. And uh, for example, here we have a smith, small house with a, a lot of tools. Kind of reminds me of my grandmother's, uh, great grandmother's house. I mean, not necessarily this one, but uh, Reminds me of my childhood. All these uh, old things you can find here and there. And uh, basically the whole vibe of the village. Something that uh, living in the city you kind of miss and you lost contact with. So I have the whole village or basically the whole park with more villages all to myself. But that's brilliant. But I kind of uh, understood why it only costs uh, two euro in the winter because uh, none of these houses are open or at least till now maybe we are gonna find a couple of them open it was supposed to be a cafe and uh, yeah some more attractions on the way i bet we find at least some of them open and still it's a, a two euro very well spent Probably cannot get cheaper than that. I kind of feel like on Kichno Island again. What was this used for? I bet these guys really don't want to be disturbed. This beauty here used to be a warehouse. Basically, there were uh, two large rooms, one of them for tools, 
and the other one for her animals. Sheep, pigs, cows maybe, horses, I don't know what they had in there. And probably these uh, smaller houses were were used for uh, for sleeping. I wish I had a guide. Not necessarily a guide all the way. I like it that I'm alone here and I can go wherever I want and no one bothers me. <laughs> no one looks weirdly at me because I film. But it uh, would be nice to would have been nice to have had uh, these uh, uh, buildings, these houses open, or at least some of them, so I can ask some questions. And people, you know, explaining me what was this, what was that. Still, absolutely love it. I think the video is getting rather repetitive. And there in front of me, I see the lake, the frozen Yagla Lake. I don't remember the name again. Let's go check it. Very slippery here. And the weather, god damn, the weather doesn't really help me much. <laughs> it's not the best day for filming. Let's go back to the village, to the villages and uh, explore a bit more and look for that cafe. I really feel like having a breakfast or lunch, whatever, and uh, a beverage or two. Let's do it. I know it doesn't look like, but I'm having the best time. Just a bit frozen. What are these scary guys? Are they even supposed to be scary? So this one was for rich landlords. They had a bedroom and a bathhouse under the same roof. Can you imagine? 200 years ago. Wow, that's, that's luxury. Really interesting. That's a grain barn with some uh, extra room or extra space. So it was not really a room for servants to sleep uh, in the summer. I don't know what they did in the winter. And there's a lady or a kid. I don't know, <laughs> looks weird going up there. And this is the, the old well. The fountain. You have a bucket here. A bit frozen now. Oh, I suppose I cannot open this. Oh, shit, I can. There's actually water in there. Hey. The old wishing well. Man, that's interesting. Very nice. Okay. That was a very nice village. Let's go to the next one. See what we find there. Look at the trees. You see these guys climbing the trees? Man, there's a lot of them. 
This should be one of the oldest buildings around here. 17th century. This is like 400 years ago, 1600 something. Wow. This is a tree trunk. It's a hollowed tree trunk for bees. You see, it's empty inside for beekeeping. Look at this house over here. I see a ladder. Do you think I can climb up there? It's a maybe. It's a very interesting one because you can see the lower part of the house has these uh, horizontal logs and up there you have vertical poles. And not so many houses were built this way back then, a couple of hundreds of years ago. Let's go on. Kind of need a beverage now. Let's find that beverage. bell up there. I think this is supposed to be the old church. Very small, cozy, pretty and a bell to bring the people. Okay, that's my interpretation. Let's see what's written. Nothing. Okay, it has to be the church. There is some kind of old cross on top. I have a feeling I'm gonna walk around here a little bit and uh, maybe then go back to civilization because I have doubts I'm gonna find any open building, any open terrace or anything to drink, eat and stuff like that. No, it's just a feeling. Can you imagine how this place would look uh, in the summer? Probably all these houses open. Someone dressed uh, traditionally would welcome you inside and tell you stories about every building. Look at this beauty. And uh, yet another windmill. Is this supposed to be a church as well? Here we have the old toilet. Let's see if it's open. Oh yeah. Okay, it's molded. Very nice, clean. Good. This is supposed to be the path leading to the biggest windmill. Honestly, I feel like I've traveled in time a little bit today. Of course, would have been uh, way better if these buildings were open. And if I met some people to tell me about everything. But uh, all in all, I'm very satisfied. It's definitely worth more than two euros, even like this, even with a self-guided tour. Hey, look at the look at the windmill. It's really big indeed. Let's go closer. Look at this massive thing. Okay, let's see what's there. Oh, surprise, surprise. Nothing open around here either. I already gave up the hope 
there's not nothing is gonna be open but uh, yeah quite a, quite a good time walking around the weather got better it doesn't rain anymore it doesn't snow it doesn't sleet it doesn't anything We're back to one of the villages. Pretty close to the entrance, I suppose. I remember this uh, yurt here. So, what do you think about it? Did you like it? Maybe the tour was not the most entertaining, but uh, the open air museum definitely is definitely worth a check. Extremely pretty. We have a shrine here. And the Lutheran church up this uh, small hill. A lot of stuff here. This is yet another village. It would take an entire day if you were to enter every single building and learn about it, learn about the history and traditions. Yeah, it would definitely take an entire day. A steam engine used for the thrashing machine. Of course, only the wealthiest farmers around here in Latvia could uh, afford this uh, machine. They were already using this in the 19th century. Can you imagine this? 1800s and the very wealthy farmers around here were using this uh, thrashing machine with a very performance steam engine. Look at its beauty. Well, this is definitely a place for eating in the summer. You can boil stuff here. You can grill. Toilet there, like in the old times. Nah, I was optimistic for a second there. I guess I should abandon the hope and try and find the exit. See you guys outside. Priedes Krogs, Priedes Tavern. This is it the Christmas tree. Okay, we had the scrogs. Go left. I'm following. Oh man, tell me it's open. Okay. There's the barn we've been to before. There's a lock here. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's incredibly slippery. I'm very proud to not have fallen yet. And here, some toast, hot dogs and warm coffee, but no. But no, it's not where I'm going to eat. You guessed it, it's Lido time again.
plastic pores, pork with fries and a pickle, sour cream sauce and uh, juice.